Welcome or welcome back to my little creative corner of the internet. In today's video we're going to start a new series for the channel and that is to do this Rack This Journal by Carrie Smith together. I just did a community poll a while back and asked what kind of Rack This Journal or Complete This Book or Messy Junk Journal kind of sketchbook adventure prompt book you wanted me to get for all of us and to complete together and the classical Rack This Journal was the one who won the poll and I thought it would be interesting because I did do the German version of the Rack This Journal in 2012 I think so quite a while back and I think it would be interesting to find out how my art style and my chaotic style has changed until then so I thought it would be fun to just start the whole challenge and the series by flipping through my wreck this journal from 2012 so and also we will later have a look what kind of pages are new because I got the updated version of the Wreck This Journal with even more pages to make it more interesting and have something new to add. So I will go through the journal and pointing out the pages that are new. I wanted to start the whole series with completing a few pages but that will be something we go on into later on. For now, let's start a little tour of my nearly completed. I think there are a few pages that I didn't complete in this, but for what's for me, it's kind of completed. I don't will go back and work in it again. So it's the German version, but the prompts are the same like in the old Wreck this journal. So here's the cover page where I did a Harry Potter kind of intro and I think I will just flip through the pages otherwise this video will go on forever. Maybe I will add some commentary here and there. So let's see what we did here. I did uh, write down the number pages when I completed the page. So I start with breaking the spine of the book that's why here is a one and this will be the same I will do the same with this one later on so that we can see when I did which page because I'm not going to work on them in chronological order <laughs> this was a inflammable page and it was quite fun but this one I definitely is missing in the new newer version of the wreck this journal I think it's a safety hazard so that's why it's just my opinion but I think that's the reason they left it out in the new version here's some coffee spilling cute little frog I really like this one this page as well I didn't really complete that one so like I said, some of those pages are empty and only some of them are completed. But it's such a while back that I started this and I don't feel like it's not me if I go back in now. I just have to start fresh and from scratch and I would really want to see how I evolved as an artist and as a person and see all those have something I can compare the old version too. I really like this kind of scavenger hunt page I created here and I really want to see how much fun concept I can come up with to fill the book and just make it an art journal and a kind of creative artwork in itself not just 
complete the pages very simple but make it fun and artistic and creative and I can't wait to share those creative adventures with all of you. The lighting is a bit all over the place. I hope you don't mind. Uh, in the year I did complete the journal uh, or I did work in the journal, we did a trip to London. That's why I created the U Union Jack here. And this one, I did do that, but I never documented this kind of challenge to walk around with the book on a string. So I just want to really document that in the journey and take you all along and also take some pictures or something maybe to include into the journal for those kind of prompts or here the picking up the book without your using your hands <laughs> was a big harry potter face so that's why wingardium liviosa throw the page down somewhere compose this page yeah here's one i didn't complete really you, I did stick down my complete, or what feels like my complete, sticker collection from when I was a child. But it's not that complete and I have a bunch of more stickers and maybe can do that again. Or maybe I can come with up with a different type of way to deal with that prompt. We will see. I'm really interested in comparing and seeing what if there are always new ways I can come up with to complete the challenge or if they are always, uh, if they are quite similar, we will see. Maybe someday and some prompts I will challenge myself to do something different than I did in the first version in this one. Here I did some funny little doodles that are kind of hidden under the post-it notes. And this one's kind of the same as that one. The one is, yeah, this one is more let it run into a wall and this one is go and walk with it, but I feel like it's very similar. This is one of my favorite kind of pages as well in this journal. Here are a few that I had to skip for personal reasons. I had a cross ring that I was wearing at the time in 2012. That was really the millennial kind of fashion. <laughs> so here's something I have drawn with white pen. You can't really see that. It's a, it's a snowman. This page is quite a mess, but I really like the colorful way that it turned out. Here's just some checklist to doodle all over specific pages. Some notes, a page I never completed, as well as this one. Some writing, some random stuff cutting through the pages. Yeah, I feel like sometimes I wasn't re really... I feel like that's not very committed to destroying the book, so... It will be interesting to see how my more advanced, more messy art style will make it look now. And how much I can run myself free from having every single page be aesthetic. So we will see how it goes. Did you ever consider doing one of those Wreck This Journal or did you have a Wreck This Journal sometimes in your life? Did you enjoy working in this one or are you, are you more of a free, complete blank journal kind of girl or boy uh, or person and you just want to have complete freedom with whatever you are doing with your pages? Let me know in the comments down below. I would absolutely love to hear from you. 
and I think it, this will be a fun way to get into journaling and I think it's a amazing opportunity for somebody who isn't who is completely new to art journaling or junk journaling and something and wants somewhere to start and some prompts that they can start with this is also a page that is not included in the new version it's cuss words so I think it's also to make it more family friendly why they didn't include that once so. yeah leave a comment down below I would absolutely love to hear your opinion on the Rectus journal or on prompt journals in general for me it's the thing I like about that one is that it's completely free and it's supposed to be messy and it's supposed to kind of get ruined in a way. It's not supposed to have picture perfect art in it like I just want to get in my sketchbooks or in my art journals or most of the time the idea for my own art journals and stuff is to make them perfect and to make them beautiful in a way. Maybe there are some pages that don't turn out like I wanted them to, but in the end it's not a book that is supposed to get ruined. So that's the part that I find quite interesting about the Reckless Journal concept. So let's dive into the new Wreck this journal and I can't wait to start the journey. The first few pages are quite the same. As I said, this book is in English instead of the German version I had back then. But I did flip through the pages and did a mark on those who are new or different, kind of. And I wanted to show some of them before we dive into the creation process. I feel like most of the new pages are after here the doodle on top of text page. Here are quite a few ones that are new and I can't wait to try them out as well to see what we can come up with. And also, like I said before, there are a few few pages like the burn the paper and the cuss words that are missing from this book so I feel like that was a measurement to make it more appropriate for children and stuff so yeah let's dive into this channel and do the first first one or where is it? Let's see. Write your name, instructions, add your own numbers here. Crack this spine. So let's start with that so that the book is laying flat a bit more. It always breaks my heart to break a spine. That's one thing I absolutely hate about my normal notebooks or something. You will, like, for example, in this sketchbook, you will always see me protect the spine as much as humanly possible to not have a crack in it. So that's what kind of is fun to do with this one, that you do stuff that you normally wouldn't do. Let's see. We crack the spine so we can write our first page number on this page. Like I said, I want to add the numbers as I go to keep track in which order I did complete the pages. So we did crack the spine for the first time. So let's do a one on this page. Whoa, those markers are so juicy. So let's see what we can 
do next as well. Oh yeah, the coffee. The coffee one. We will do that tomorrow morning as our first thing of the day, I think. <laughs> Today it's way too late to drink some coffee, otherwise I would not sleep tonight, so... Okay, we have a bit of a bleed through here, but it will be fine. It's kind of a second one anyway. Let's see. I really liked something. Oh, just let's write down my name in the book first. So now that we got a bit of a start here, I want to leave it at that. I think the video is long enough, so let's just meet again here soon to fill up this, wreck this journey with me. I hope you are coming along on this journey with me and let me know in the comments down below if you ever have considered using a reckless journal or any other destructive journaling or journal prompt journal and if you are interested in coming along with me on this journey. If you want to join me on this creative adventure and many others to come, hit the subscribe button down below. And until then, happy creating!